Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading and it will be for around Thursday the 29th of April 2021 for all signs. So as always, I say this all the time, it may or may not resonate with you, you decide what resonates. Okay, and remember my readings, certainly the dailies, can generally last a few days longer than when they're released. Okay, sometimes you see the readings when you're meant to as well. Okay, what do we have, please? Thursday, the 29th of April, 2021, for all signs, please. What is the message people need to hear the most? The message people need to hear the most, thank you. Wait, I'm going to pull another card with that. Any other message to go with this, Angel Spirits Guides? Any other message to go with this? Thank you. Any other message to go with this? Thank you. Not the right time. You know what? I'm going to pull another card. Interesting. Uh, I'm kind of urged to do something a bit different today. Trust. <laughs> and it's coming to me. I'm going with the flow like everybody else. So let's just see what we do. Okay. One more card, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Hmm. If you believe. Okay. And I've got perfect timing at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. You know, guys... Uh, I kind of think they want me to do something a bit differently today, so let's just go with it. Okay, I'm going to pull a card underneath each of these cards. So what do we have as the message, please? What is the message people need to hear today, please? And it will be Thursday, the 29th of April 2021, please. <laughs> what is the message people need to hear? Thank you. Starting with weight. The moon. Not the right time. Death. Trust. Seven of swords. If you believe. Oh my goodness, the page of wands. Okay. <laughs> And perfect timing, we have the Ten of Swords. And bottom of the deck is the Three of Pentacles. Wow, okay. So there is definitely an energy of weight, yeah. You don't have the full clarity for a reason. This is Hidden Blessings, Divine Orchestration. Even though you don't see the big picture, the universe does and intuitively you're being guided it, it feels in this situation this is somebody who doesn't have clarity but the message is you're not meant to things will become clear so just wait and that's what you're being told it's not the right time now but the right time will come the period of waiting will be over the death card is Soon there will be out with the old, in with the new. You will shed an old skin. There is definitely an energy of this period of waiting will end. It's coming to an end. Um, this is the phoenix rising. So you will rise from the ashes of the old. And it is an energy of what doesn't serve you will be left behind. This is about emerging emerging from the chrysalis to the butterfly the transformation is happening but there's definitely an energy here of this period i'm definitely getting this period of waiting is coming to an end the end the death card is endings um but also deep transformation that comes from an ending okay trust <laughs> you have to trust this is an energy of trust in the divine plan trust that you're being watched over even though you don't see the big picture like i said there are reasons for the need to wait but however you are being watched over trust surrender 
trust that you're being watched over. Um, Seven of Swords can be a card of self-sabotage. Um, interestingly enough, the vision isn't appearing. The, the new vision isn't appearing. The moon in Aquarius, the new vision isn't appearing. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how, um, how this new path is going to unfold for me or if I don't see this new path. You know, this is an energy of just trust trust don't self-sabotage certainly with your thought patterns with the seven of swords because the sword is linked to the mind our perspective how we see things um our clarity and all of this kind of energy and there isn't clarity here somebody doesn't have clarity um but there's an energy that everything will become clear because we have the symbol of creation it looks like um archangel metatron symbol of creation there you have to believe that you can manifest and create this new path and trust that you're being assisted by God, the universe, the divine. This is about believing in yourself, believing in your capabilities. Don't self-sabotage. Don't, you know, think negatively, um, put negative energy out there just because things aren't clear right now. This is about manifestation, creation can happen but you have to absolutely believe that it will, you know? Now, with the Page of Wands, we have good news. It can be to do with an opportunity or message to do with an opportunity here. There's real potential. And the pages are the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. So again, this is about something new is being manifested. And it feels to do with there will be some news message coming your way that holds such potential um it's an energy of like i said news message information coming your way uh, it could be to do with some kind of opportunity and the ten of swords is you know so i will say also that the the, the the one's energy is to do with our heart and soul it's very good in terms of business career money absolutely but it can be a passion it can be something that you know lights us up something that we absolutely want to take action towards i sometimes give the the, the illustration of if you visited a state or a county that really pulls on your heartstrings that really connects to your soul energy this can be about you know maybe some message to do with an opportunity to move there for whatever reason you know it can be that kind of energy you know um yeah so yeah just bear that in mind you know it's something very much connected to our heart and soul that we want to take action towards the ten of swords can be to do with loss crisis deep wounds hurts betrayal stabbed in the back i mean there's levels to the ten of swords cards however the ten is a completion the period of pain is over um yeah, it just feels like whatever has been a painful, you know, experience for you, it feels like if you really believe there is something coming very much connected to your heart and soul. Uh, and it feels to do with some news message, something that holds potential that you absolutely want to take action towards, that you want to give a go. I mean, it could be a hobby or a, you know, a, a second, you know, it could be a passion of yours that you want to just give a go, you know. Um, the Ten of Swords is this period of being hurt is over because you can see the sun is breaking through the darkness. Uh, there is a new day, a new dawn rising with the Ten of Swords pushing away the darkness now. And it feels like whatever has been hidden, there is new clarity coming your way as well. Uh, and it definitely feels for some of you, something wasn't the right time, but it will be the right time. You know, the right time is coming. Perfect timing. Um, things happen when they're meant to happen. And you will release whatever you need to leave behind. You know, you will emerge um, as the phoenix rising. You will, and it feels to do with some kind of new path that's connected to your heart and soul here. The time is coming, you know. It definitely feels in this energy. Very beautiful. 
And the Three of Pentacles can be a card of building or rebuilding. This can be the beginnings of success, money, career, finances. So very good in terms of jobs, joining new teams or a team collaboration business partnership that you might be inspired to start. You know, it can be that kind of energy. Um, it's also very good in terms of doing up a home, you know, so it can be that kind of energy as well. But it just feels that you're, you're prioritizing, you're focusing. And the three of coins is generally seen as the beginnings of success, manifesting something new. What you've been hoping to create here, the symbol of creation, is actually taking form in your conscious reality with the pentacles because the pentacles is the conscious reality energy. So it feels like the beginnings of success, and it feels like on a new path, is coming your way. It's a powerful energy. I mean, you know, I was, I was kind of pretty much led to do it this way. So, you know, let's just go with it. Um, and uh, like I tell the rest of you, I also as a reader surrender and just go with the flow. Um, so let's pull a final card and see what we get. Tree Wisdom. This tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. I mean, this can be about finding answers. Um, yeah, being inspired, page of wands. Something inspirational is coming your way. We have be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration. Come just go dawn, she can call at any time. Things happen when they're meant to happen. And that's what you're being told. Don't get loose faith because this is absolutely a time to trust you're being watched over here and held. And there is definitely some kind of new success rebuilding. Um, the time will come where you will release from the pain and build something new, something, the beginnings of something successful, concrete. Um, very lovely energy. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.